All right? Another kind of an anatomical structure that also proves evolution is going to be vestigial structures. Now, vestigial structures are things that used to have a function, but are evidence of something that our ancestors used to do. There's a lot of examples of that. For example, the wisdom teeth in humans, back when we had a different kind of diet and we needed extra chewing ability. Um, chest hair in, in mammals, like the humans, we don't need that. It doesn't fulfill the same purpose that it fulfills in other animals for insulation. We don't need it as much as they do. Um, the muscles that move the ears, for example. We don't longer have the thing functions that other animals have to articulate their ears to move towards the direction of the sound. We move our necks instead. But we still have some of those muscles left. The appendix, let an example. The nictating membrane in the eyes of, of some of the humans. The, the sacrum in the tailbone in, in humans, we don't longer need it. But the, some of our tail is still left over there. The femur and the pelvis, which is still left in some of the whale species, and so forth. All of these are examples of structures which no longer fulfill a function. Now, some of them may still have some sort of residual function. Some scientists are ind indicating the appendix, for example, may still have some sort of residual function in helping a digestion somehow. But it is really a remnant. Back in the day, we used to have a larger intestinal tract to help digest more nutrients out of a protein-poor diet. And we don't need that anymore. But we still have the appendix there. And so... All the other examples are examples of these things. Just like we don't need the chest hair for insulation as much as we needed before. And so these are called vestigial structures. And that too is an evidence of evolution because it's evidence of things which used to have a purpose. If we were all designed, why leave those structures behind? All right? Now, another example is mosaic structures. Another example that shows the power of evolution. A structure that evolved for a purpose but ends up being used for another hands of humans which are used for grasping and used for tools is actually evolved for other reasons for emulation because we were used to be quadrupeds but as we became bipeds our hands evolved for completely different purposes but those structures were not originally designed for actually grasping and using tools they were designed for actually locomotion the same way that the limbs of the whales were not originally designed for swimming all right so that's what we call mosaic structures. Another example of how evolution can change the function of life. All of these anatomical structures prove that evolution is definitely a reality.